Hi, in this tutorial we will learn how to set a specific image as a background on our page. Let's talk about image first. I will use this image. See those beautiful eyes? So expressive, so gorgeous. So let's experiment on our troll a little bit because he is experimenting on internet all over the place. So we have a little bit of revenge here. Uh, just a second, pay attention to uh, extension of file. So I'm using JPEG image. You can use anything on your desktop, on folder, any folder, or on somewhere from internet you can pull image. But I'm just using um, uh, this one image in, into our default folder. Okay, so pay attention to this. So how to how to uh, set image as background? No, we will. We are not trying to import our image here into HTML page. We are just setting that as as a, as a background. So no import in portion here. Is that the correct term? I don't think so. No insertion here. So uh, we are so, uh, def defining selector. Uh, we are using selector bod body here with curly brackets. Uh, let's go defining background, but not color. We are not dealing with colors here. Background image. And then uh, we will use URL, which means uh, short for uniform ro uh, resource locator here. Inside quotes, you need to specify them. Just specify location. Uh, in this case, that is troll in our local folder, troll jpeg. So do use, by all means, do use extension. Um, let's refresh. Bam, we have our troll. Now, interesting thing is, by default, we have troll everywhere, as always. Question is, can you specify troll just horizontally on, and vertically? Yes, and you will use property background repeat for that. So, background repeat and the value uh, will be repeat vertically, vertically, horizontally or no repeat, just for uh, just to stick troll into upper left corner. So for example, uh, horizontally, repeat x and the refresh, there you go, we have our troll horizontally. Same situation for vertical positioning. It's similar like in mathematics, you have um, coordinates. Uh, and let's refresh, there you go. Vertic uh, vertical troll positioning. What was I saying? Yeah, no repeat. Uh, let's stick our troll into left upper corner. No repeat. Nice. So the question is, what will happen if you accidentally, just for test, include directly source, uh, directly image into our body? Check this out. Troll JPEG. And now when I refresh our page, what will happen? Just a second. See, see these uh, things here. So these are from inclusion insertion of our troll. Uh, when the troll is actually background, so th those two will overlap in this case. Uh, just to note, if this happens to you, in when you are experimenting or something, you know you need to think about these options that that your content on page is overlapping uh, image in CSS. So don't don't mix these two in, in your head. Okay. So just when we remove this, we will get nice correct results. So that's about it. Five minutes lesson, really simple. Uh, don't forget as uh, 
property you will use background image and for uh, values you will use repeat this one and this one and no repeat so that's about thing that's about it so thank you for watching and i hope that we have tortured our troll a little bit because he deserve it especially on 4chan uh, you know you know that creative website where people are trolling each other like uh, like they are pros yeah so thank you for watching and see you in next video